Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And in this episode, I want to try to get metal refining going. Uh, because I gotta upgrade all these wires. Because uh, we're starting to kind of overgo the circuit load here. And I kind of could probably get the coal out of the base now that we have a lot of heating going on. So I was thinking of doing it over here. It's nice and cool here, and we could use this cold polluted water as a coolant. And we got more up here we can use. But uh, I gotta use a rock granulator first before we get the metal refinery going because we need two kilowatts to be able to power the refinery. So let's do this first. Rock crusher. I think copper should be fine. Stick that there. Speed things up. Yeah, I thought about doing it down here, but there's no oxygen for them to breathe. And it's kind of warming up already. But I think this area will work nicely. I also discovered up here, we got... Uh, we have a steam, cool steam vent. Which is not active yet, but we'll just let it kind of accumulate the water there. And kind of heat up the surrounding area. I was also heading up this way. I'm going to maybe put my hydrogen in kind of a peak here. So I'm going to do a low priority ladder up this way. Kind of like that. And then maybe we'll collect the hydrogen out here, up here. Grab this food. I'm going to dig out this oxalate, even though we're going to use, lose a bit of mass by doing that. And I think... I'll just open this all up here. Probably get rid of this here. Try to get all that hydrogen up at the top. Make a little spot for it up here. Kind of like that. And we'll just let them work on that. And then over here, okay, we got the rock granular. We need power for this. I could use, hmm, we could use coal, but we're kind of running low on coal. I think I'll just use more coal, even though, yeah, even though it's not the best idea. I want to leave room for the metal refiner, refinery. So maybe I'll stick this here. We're going to need two eventually. And I'm going to need to upgrade this wire eventually as well. But we don't see, if we do conductive wire, we don't have enough refined metal. That's why I have to do this rock granulator first. And, oh, I don't even have refined metal for the smart battery yet. So I guess we'll have to do a jumbo battery first. Do that priority seven. And we're going to need a pump down here, so let's do that. And hopefully, this does not freeze in the pump or in the pipe. That would be really bad. But we don't actually need this yet. We'll, uh, we'll get that done a bit later. There was a pretty big update to the game recently, changing things like wires and wire highlight colors and stuff. Red is overload, purple is no load, and white is uh, a low load, and yellow is kind of like 75%. Between 75% and 100% load. I also want to move this blue water storage down here, but that's kind of a... Not really necessary just yet. Actually, it is kind of getting full. Maybe we can quickly get over there, get that dug out. Maybe I'll go along here, actually. Get across here and then make some scaffolding going down. I 
we do something like something like this, that'll work. As long as they have a way to get up. Let's make this priority nine right here, just to make sure they can get back out. Because we can't have another dupe death. Let's do this just next, after we get this out. And I think I can probably safely seal this up now. Yeah, so we'll drop that water down, and that way it won't overflow into our bathrooms, which might happen pretty soon. I think I'll do a ladder up here. Then we'll drain the water out the corner here. Down that way. Too many ladders, I know, but... Man, I'm wasting coal. So let's get this thing going. We're going to do copper to copper ore forever, just for now. And maybe we should connect the battery. <laughs> that might help. Lots of stinky air in here, but no, uh, no, uh, slime lung, which is good. And I think I can safely poke a hole in there, but we don't need it just yet. I'll also be doing, like, poke shell and stuff to get to, uh, lime. But we need to get some refined metal first before, uh, this all gets going. And then once we get enough refined metal, we could build a metal refinery, put it on this circuit, and then should be good. Let's start building that, I guess. Refinement. Got a refinery. And I'll put it close to the water here. I guess here's probably safe. And let's get that coal generator up at priority 8, because otherwise it won't get full. Yeah, I tend to get carried away with, carried away with too many projects. I'll try to get around that this time. Just stick to one until we got one thing done. Even though I got other stuff go on the go here. Actually, that's, that'll be done soon, and it's low priority. Oxygen's looking pretty good, temperature's nice, getting a little hot here. And how much metal do we have? 430, let's start upgrading this wire. Actually, let's do a smart battery first. Assuming we can build one. Yeah. I'll stick that right here, and then we'll retire the other battery that we just built. And we got some new printables. I'll go for the gold. Go for gold. I'll use a deodorizer over here, too. I don't like the look of stink here. It doesn't really do anything anymore. Especially on when there's no slime lung. And we'll get some automation wire in there. Set that to, uh, I don't know, 40 to 95 ish. How are we doing here? We got a hole 
and we still gotta dig this out. Okay, we gotta keep an eye on coal. 11. There's still other coal out there we can dig out as well, so it's not like super dire just yet. Okay, let's finish this wire off. Let's connect the smart battery. And we want this wire to go all the way over to here. And eventually down to here. We got lots of ice around here too. Ice in there, polluted ice in here. That we can stick in this container if we need to. Okay, this can go now. Don't need that. Wasting energy. And now we need another coal generator to get this thing fully powered. Got to make sure the automation's on both. And eventually we'll be build a big giant power room somewhere, maybe here. But for now, we're just trying to get metal refining going. Let's get this pipe set up. We're going to go up here, into there, and I think I'm just going to dump the water back in here. It's going to be hotter, but it'll get cooled down because there's all this cold around here. And I think we'll be okay. And then we can do all our metal refining here instead. Let's get that. Power down here. Let's check morale. Morale is sitting at around 17, 18, 19. Pretty good. Make sure my shifts are okay. We got Three, 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 three. All this stuff here is new. Shows like um, a night owl. It's pretty nice. It helps. Helps a lot. Oh, here and they they also added um, the heavy watt wire can hold. Oh, heavy conductor wire. Heavy conductor wire can hold 50 kilowatts now, which is pretty crazy. Should allow for some really big power grids. Okay, we got the automation in here, I think. That's all hooked up. Let's do... How much raw copper do I have? Let's see here. I wish they would make these alphabetical. Uh, refined metal, metal ore. Okay, so we've got 26 tons of copper ore. We'll turn this back off and we'll do, I don't know, 60, 60 copper here, maybe 40. I should really be doing iron. Let's go find some iron. That should work now. And in here, we're just going to do all these lime things. should be fine okay metal refining is set up now there's kind of a secret in here not a really a secret some some of you most of you probably know this but if you look here
Let's just see here. I, I gotta remind myself how it actually goes in here. Um, it basically tells you the temperature that the water is going to go up by. But I forget where that was actually shown. I was going to show you guys this big thing and then I myself forget. Oh, here it is. If you click on the metal, you can see... No, you can't see. Hmm. There's a place here somewhere that shows you the temperature that the water will come out at. And how much it'll go up by. But I myself forget. Oh, maybe it's over here. Let's see, when you build it, maybe? Oh, right here. No, it's not here. Oh, I forget where it is. Oh, I think I remembered where it was. <laughs> Maybe here? Yeah, there's somewhere where it tells you how much the coolant will go up by. Maybe they changed it, or maybe I'm just forgetting where it was. Anyway. It looks like it's going up by about 16 degrees, I think. Let's see when it comes out here. Yeah, it's going from minus 16 to 1.6, so maybe 18 degrees. If I don't find this, it's really going to bug me. But I don't want to spend the whole episode on it. Uh... Oh, here it is. If you hover over the heat here, this is like totally hidden. Um, it'll show the amount of heat, but it, it'll say it'll raise the temperature of the contained polluted water by 19.2 degrees. So completely not obvious that you, it doesn't even look like you could hover over this thing, but you can, and it'll tell you how much your coolant is going to heat up by so that you can make sure it doesn't turn into a gas in the pipe, which uh, will break the pipe. Yeah, so we're fine for coolant. I don't this is gonna heat up anytime soon. Oh I got a snazzy suit up here. Let's get someone in that. So yeah, I've known about this for I don't know, a year or however long this thing's been out. And I <laughs> and I forgot that it's way down here where you where it's really hard to find. But it's there. Okay, we got that set up. What should we do next? Maybe I'll pre-position some coal here. So that we can... Always have some close by. And let's flood this tank now. I think it's safe to do. Before it overflows into our base. And that's not what I wanted. But... Let's mop this up really quickly. Before it goes in our fresh water. Oh my gosh. Okay. Didn't want that going in our water supply. Now, oh, I better remove this bottle. <laughs> Emptier. Let's turn it off first and then remove it. And maybe stick it down here. Now we got our two tanks side by side. I don't know if they're the same with nine. No. Oh, they are. That worked out well. That was not intentional. Barbecue. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Delish. And we'll just dump some polluted water down there. Uh. 
And I should probably dig this out. So we can get some airflow going. Not really enough oxygen going on in here. Let's do an LG deoxidizer instead. We got the LG. Stick it right there. And we gotta go find some iron, because I don't want to make this all copper. Let's go find... We got iron in here, a little bit. A little bit in there. And we got lots of different bits of water in here. Probably some ice fell down. I think it's okay, though, if we desalinate regular water. I don't think it's a problem. Got iron here. Let's use our material material overlay. Trying to find a big chunk of iron. That, that's iron. This is copper. This looks good. Let's go in here. Strip mine that down. Can I pause? No. And let's get this done as well. Oh yeah, the ice probably fell all the way down. All the way down. <laughs> yeah, right into here. Should probably fix that. Ah, that's not the end of the world if that goes in there. Got more iron up here. Let's... Uh, I want to keep, keep going up here, but I... I dare not because the hydrogen will just keep going up and I don't want that. And they've got nothing to breathe up here. Maybe I should consider getting exosuits going because that'll help us a lot. And we got power now. Oh, and let's start up upgrading our power lines since we have metal now. Conductive wire. Yeah, we got lots of that. Let's upgrade all these. Now, should, should I move my coal generators out? I think I probably should. But first, let's just upgrade it. I don't think I need that micro musher anymore. The research is pretty much done. So I could retire those. I'll go straight down here. Oh, I'm like, I just ran out of copper big time. So, they'll get around to it when they get around to it. And let's do some more copper here. As long as I don't run out, we're good. Some coal here. Now we gotta let them catch up. Set this to blue water. I should probably move this thing out of the base now. Pretty warm. And the, war the water coming up, salt water coming up here is 32 degrees. It's getting cooled down nicely here. Inside this cold water, which won't last forever, but... It'll last a while. And this gets hotter and hotter and hotter in here. Part of the reason is that it's all the heat is trapped in here. So what I might do... If I send a dupe in there, they're going to probably get burnt. But if I get rid of a little bit of this abyss light, the heat will spread out more.
Yeah, I think we can maybe safely get just a little bit out of here. Without them getting blistered. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Brave souls going underwater. <laughs> okay, that should help suck some of that heat out of there. Probably do a little bit more. Okay, that's probably good. I'm sorry. We'll get you some exosuits. So you can do this without pain and misery. I think I need another hatch farm as well. Okay, how much power do we have on here? We got 1.8 kilowatts. Um... How much is the exosuit forge thing? I think it's quite a bit. Utility? Oh, it's a station, I think. Exosuit forge requires 480 watts. So if we did this, we'd have to turn this off for a bit, I think. Or turn this off. Maybe I'll get some of this wire going slightly higher priority. Didn't like your meal, did you? Oh, the, this thing's still on. Shower time. Okay, let's dig this out so at least it's lined up with this floor. This terrarium, it can go. Maybe I'll do a little bit more here. We'll do 40 again. Don't really have much place for the CO2 to go, but maybe I'll strip mine all this down until we reach this level here. So that CO2 has somewhere to go. That's looking good. A nice crooked ladder here. I think I'll do some mesh tile here, just so we don't have that overflowing problem that we've been having. Okay, this hydrogen is stuck. That's not good. That's not good in the bedroom. Temperature in here is perfect now. Look at that. Perfect. 25 degrees. What more could they want? Get that wire going. Oh my gosh, the coal. We just burned through a whole bunch of coal. Okay. I gotta verify it, make sure my we're not burning it excessively somewhere. That's all good. Okay, we gotta find some coal really quickly. Um These poor Paku, we keep getting them. 
We don't have a place to put them. Okay, we gotta search for some coal. Or we're gonna have some brownouts here. We got tiny little dribs and drabs here. What's this bleach stone? Okay, there's some over here. Not really close. Oh, they've got a bit in here. Let's get this. We really need another power source, though. Gonna keep strip mining this. Get that iron out of there. Let's do a ladder floor here. Just to get at that coal. And we got all this hydrogen we could be burning. That would be a good idea too. But we gotta let them catch up. It's just we got them doing too much too much stuff. This is staying nice and cold. This is perfect. We'll also do some iron here, but let's just finish the coal up first. That's what we made all this wire out of. Once we get this all up to two kilowatts, probably move some stuff onto it, because this one's overloading a little bit. I'm not sure I want this wire here long term, but I guess we gotta gotta do it. And I've got some shovels here. I gotta pack away in a cage. Incubation 52%. Oh yeah, and this polluted dirt's stuck here. Let's get rid of this. That way the crab can eat it. Stick it on the ground. There he goes. Eat that poop. Delicious. And he poops out sand. He's like a... He's like a compost. He's a moving compost. Oh, this wire can't be built. Gonna have to temporarily move these. Put them back later. And this light doesn't need to be here anymore. Let's get rid of that. Speaking of lights, we should put some lights over the grill to help things out. Put a ceiling right here, maybe. I'm just going to leave it on all the time. It'll waste a tiny bit of power, but that's okay. Okay, they're almost done this wire upgrade. And we got a little bit of research done, or left to do here. Let's do 
Solid cargo next, and then we'll probably just deconstruct these for now. Yeah, once that's done, we'll rebuild them later when we need them. Coal, 7.5 tons, okay. We could use dupe power here just to supplement this. In fact, I'm going to get ready with that just in case there's oxygen here so they can they can breathe. In the unlikely event that we run out of coal. Or should I say likely event? This is still remaining really cold. This is so much easier on this cold planet. Okay, I'm gonna continue this project. Get the iron, get this coal out of here. Just realized I wanted these to be four apart, but they're three apart. I mean, petroleum is usually the power source I go to next, but it's going to be a ways away, I think. Even if there's... I don't even know if there's oil down here. Don't even know. I think we got ice core. I don't know if there's oil in between that. I hope there is. Because <laughs> with no oil, we're going to have no petroleum. No petroleum power is going to be an issue. I think I'll do another. I think I'll do another hatch farm right, right in here. We got this space here. I could do hatch farms all along here. Just go nuts with them. I think I'll do that. It's a little bit cold in there. Let the heat pour out, pour out of the base here. <laughs> I guess I'll leave this as a kind of a transit column through here. I have no idea why there's a door here. We'll get rid of that. And really, these air. These airflow tiles are not really doing anything. So let's duplicate what we have right there. I guess the door could go right here. Do some scaffolding here. Why did I do this? Eight? Yeah. We're going to do eight by twelve. Do a floor here.
That's eight. And it should be warm enough for the hatches. They, let's see here, their temperature, what they like. If we go to their little help menu. Livable range, minus 30. So it's minus six, seven in here. They'll be fine. They'll live. I don't know about the dupes, though. <laughs> Leave some airflow in here. We'll let them continue with that. Let's rough out the rest here. We're going to do feeder. Drop off. Gripping station. Let's see what we got here. Salt water. Hmm. Diver's lungs, athletics. We could go to 16 dupes. We got one spare bed there. And we do have dupes living over here. In this little mini base here. Which I should probably get some good plumbing going here. Nicola and Red live here. Maybe I'll do another sink and bathroom. Actually, that's fine. Who do we assign this to? Nicola. I guess Red needs a bathroom. And up here, we should really start collecting this hydrogen. So I'm going to do like a similar setup. I'm going to do... Gas element sensor. Kind of down here. And if it detects hydrogen here, then we'll start pumping it from here. And I guess I'll make this self-powering. Should probably power some other stuff. We might need some power up here anyway, so just use regular wire. We won't use it in the base necessarily, but I think this needs power. Pretty sure this needs 25 watts. Let's take a hydrogen generator in there. Got four hypothermia. Jeez. And we need a smart battery. We don't want to burn off. Uh-oh, that's never good. Jeez. What do we have here? Dirt, igneous rock, emergency igneous rock ladder for Camellia. Don't you go away. Uh oh. This happened last time. Um. No one is close. We're gonna try to dig the way out. Maybe that'll work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there, Camille. Don't you die. Oh. Ooh. Jeez, oh wheeze. Let's try that again, but safer this time. Actually, I don't 
ladders there. Actually, ladders will be fine. That was a close call. This sensor probably doesn't need to be all the way down here. But it's pretty cheap to make automation wire, so that should be fine. Maybe I should use this power for something useful. Because we have a lot of hydrogen. Not quite sure what I want to use it for, though. Where is everyone? Let's do some stuff down here. Copy some settings. Some ice is melting here. <laughs> to our salt water. Let's just drain it out. More hypothermia. I'm sorry. Okay, we lost all our CO2 here. Need some airflow here, here. Let that CO2 fall down. Okay, how's our circuit? Did we finish that circuit? Okay, the research done enough, so we're going to get rid of these for now. That can go, that can, no, that can't go, this can go. Do some wire cleanup. We got lots of copper now. This tiny battery can go. Don't need that there anymore. Okay, back to this project. I'm gonna select hydrogen. I guess this didn't need power. Hmm. We need the hydrogen generator. Smart battery. This done right away. Made a mess. Oh, jeez. I even noticed that earlier, the sand up there. Okay. Um. Gotta get that mopped up first before I let it go.
Okay, so let's get rid of this critter drop off. Because it's going to be in our food. I don't think these guys eat mushrooms though, so they should be okay. Well, actually, we'll leave that. But I'm going to disable this one just for a bit. Till we get this room filled up. Actually, we should just get these guys in there. And we need airflow up here. Crude oil here. <laughs> and those sixers we had really briefly. Cramped. We'll get around to it. Okay, do we have a proper room in here now? Yeah. Hatch wrench number two. And we should probably do the third one, but maybe I'll do that one off camera because it's just the same thing over and over. That should keep our coal going a little bit better. Snazzy suit. Oh, I, I want an acorn instead. Actually, that's a good snazzy suit. Get Bonnie in that. Okay, let's do some iron now. The iron. Make sure these are low priority. Pounding away here. Copper copper ore, let's stop that. <laughs> I've been wasting all that copper the whole time. <laughs> and we never finished this, so let's do that. We need ventilation here. And automation. Nothing to breathe up here. We could do our exosuit stuff up here, actually. Actually, there's nothing to breathe. Probably a bad place. Could bring that line down. Actually, we got lots of copper. Let's just do this. This hydrogen will be gone soon, so we'll just do exosuit forage right here. This is a temporary building. Once you get your suits made, you can just get rid of it, so it's not really super important. And we need a way to kick kickstart this thing. So we'll do a little bit of power right here. Now they won't be able to run in the hydrogen, but... Yeah, 
And I think I have enough reed fiber and stuff to get that going. Make this an eight. So we'll let all this hydrogen get sucked up and used up powering this thing. And we can make some other snazzy suits beside this, maybe, after. There we go. Power. Power, power, power. Here comes the hydrogen. Perfect. I won't need to do this anymore. Until all this hydrogen is sucked up and used efficiently. So I kind of need an alternate way for them to go because this is kind of like our hydrogen chimney. We should probably get this out of there as well. We need to go in here anyway to get to here. This is nice, cold, fresh water waiting for us. Maybe we'll do some low priority stuff over here. Maybe I won't go that way. We'll go another way. Okay, let's get Atmo suits out of copper. Priority seven, we're gonna do... How much stuff do I have? Reed fiber, I only have 12 units of reed fiber. Hmm. Guess we're only doing six suits for now. is all upgraded upgraded how much power do we have on here potential one point okay i want to get this circuit less loaded and then we'll actually we'll go all the way to oops all the way to here and then we'll cut the line here This needs more water. Oh crap, we got we got mixed water in here. Hmm. I think they dropped some ice or something. Well then. Oh, did I select water here by mistake? Nope. Oh, a lot of it got in there. Hmm. Could extend the showers a bit here. Make this a proper room. Put some ventilation in here. Do another shower. And eventually we'll start working on steel. Don't really need it just yet. I want to do some more exploring first. Got to get those exosuits going. Eventually we'll use up all this hydrogen. So that Turner can breathe. You know what? Let's just put some oxygen here for him. Built it too far over. Oh well. Yeah, 
Can't we gotta use this power up more. This should help a little bit. Now all this ice is gonna melt, so I'm gonna put a, one little lip here. Actually, it might not melt. <laughs> And I gotta make more reed fiber. So, down here, instead of just putting the water from here in, I think I'll put a pump down at the bottom of this. And get that water out of there. That'll go right in. Here. That'll work. And they can't reach this. Okay, let's trunk or er, chop that line. More reed fiber, more exosuits, and then some exosuit docks so we can explore down to the bottom. We can't go this way though, or maybe we could. We could let this fall all the way down here and move our thing down. Pump. That's an option. Or we go down a different way. Maybe down here. Yeah. I think it might go down this way. Paku or barbecue? Barbecue's pretty good food. We'll get that. I think I need to build some proper floors here. This looks a little bit empty here. I think I might just go like this. How hot is this copper? 36 degrees. Fine. Perfect. Need a little bit of hydrogen stuck in here for these guys. So I'm going to actually cover these over just for now. Oh, and I messed up the power here. Uh, cut off the oxygen supply. Gotta get this wire reinstalled or installed here quickly. Okay, the water's restored. Good. That's going in there. Hopefully, no clean water gets in there. And I really need another pump here to get this air out of here faster, but the circuit's already close to, close to overloaded. Actually, once we can take the research out, oh, it's already out. Well, we'll turn this into a two kilowatt circuit as well. Maybe. How's our coal? Seven tons, hmm. Get this grooming station up in priority. Those fellows groomed. And then off camera, I might build another hatch room right here. Just keep going. Keep going with the hatches. Oh, 
we got people running on the wheel. Disable in case of emergency only. There's more oxygen outside the base than in the base. Uh -huh. Okay, hydrogen should build up in here. Which should help these guys turn into plastic glossy dracos. How are we doing up here? Hydrogen level has, is going up. Good, good, good. And... Let's queue up four more. Five, let's do six more suits. And I think I'm going to wrap things up here because it seems like a good point. Next time we'll put exosuits down here. And we'll get exploring down this way into the, hopefully the oil. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I need an alternate way to the top now. Because I want all this hydrogen to end up here. So we can burn it off. So maybe we'll build another ladder to the side. Maybe we'll build, take this one up through all this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe.